Hey everyone, this is Cody, and today I'm going to be reviewing the ZWO AM5N Harmonic Mount. This is like the second generation of the ZWO AM5 mount, and there are some aesthetic changes, but really the biggest change is in how the mount performs. And I'll tell you right now, this has given me the best auto-guiding performance I've ever had with a telescope mount. So it is a substantial improvement over the original AM5. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm really excited to talk about the astrophotography performance of the AM5N, but before I do so, I just want to real quickly cover the changes to the mount from the outside. So you'll notice on the AM5N, there's no more dovetail shoe on the side here. Don't think many people really use that a whole lot, so they just eliminated that. And then you'll also notice that the azimuth locks are gone as well. I never used the azimuth locks, so instead they got rid of them and they just put in a spot for a hex wrench. So I'm totally fine with that change as well. Another change from the AM5 is the capacity. This AM5N will now hold more weight. So without a counterweight, it will hold 15 kilograms or essentially 33 pounds. And with a counterweight, it'll hold uh, 20 kilograms or roughly 44 pounds. So just incredible That's weight heavy. capacity on this new AM5N. One big change with the AM5N is the integration of some cable management at the rear of the saddle. We have a 12 volt, three amp output. So you just wanna be careful with this because if you're running the ASI Air, your main imaging camera, your cooler on your camera, as well as some dew heaters, you're probably gonna get close to exceeding that three amp. So just be careful on how you use that. And then you also have a USB-C outlet here as well, which is great because you know the AM5N has a USB slot on the front plate, but then you have to run it around to your ASI Air or run it down to your tripod legs. Now you can just connect straight to your ASI Air via USB-C and the saddle and not have to worry about those cords getting tangled up. So that is a very nice touch on the AM5N. As with the AM5 and the AM3, the fit and finish on the AM5N is excellent and the machining is top notch. So just another excellent touch from ZWO there. The AM5N also has a latitude adjustment scale. So it's pretty easy to get a, a quick rough latitude and then dial that in with your typical polar alignment process. All right, everyone, here's the part you've been waiting for. The astrophotography performance on the AM5N is absolutely ridiculous how good it is. I was shocked because the AM5 is a good mount. The AM5N, I thought, oh, they just upgrade a few things. No, this completely outperforms the AM5. It's pretty nuts. So with my RASA 8, I'm getting about 0.25 to 0.3 arc seconds of error on average. I was absolutely mind blown. It is the best guiding I've ever had with a mount. Absolutely crazy because this is not a lightweight setup and with no counterweight on here to get that kind of performance is just amazing. With lightweight setups, you're getting the same thing. So it's very consistent whether you're using a heavy or a light setup. At long focal lengths using my eight inch Edge HD, still getting excellent guiding results with my ASI 2600 MC Duo roughly 0 0.6, 0 0.7 arc seconds of error. I just, I couldn't be more impressed by the AM5N, especially given how lightweight it is and how portable it is. This really is a champion mount for astrophotography and auto guiding. It's just, it's crazy. It's, I, I can't explain another any other way. The auto guiding on this mount is just awesome. Strainwave gear mounts are great because they basically have zero backlash, but what they do have is periodic error. The original AM5 had periodic error of about plus or minus 20 arc seconds or so. Well, here's just another upgrade ZWO was able to make to the AM5N. This mount has periodic error of about plus or minus 10 arc seconds for each unit that leaves the factory. So just another huge upgrade there to make the mount perform even better. Just like the original AM5, the AM5N, weighs 5.5 kilograms or about 12 pounds which is pretty amazing that it can hold telescopes 
that weigh up to 33 pounds without a counterweight, which is roughly three times its weight or so, just a little bit less than three times its weight. So very portable setup, easy to get to a dark sky site, and just another plus for the harmonic mount here. So with the AM5N, you're getting a few changes to the outside of the mount, some integrated cable management, better weight capacity, better periodic error, and just incredible performance from the mount itself. But what you're not getting is a price increase, and that's what surprised me most. Most of the time, you know, manufacturers will increase the price for an upgrade or another generation. ZWO kept the price the same on the AM5N, which I think is an awesome touch because this mount, I feel like, is a substantial improvement over the original AM5. And the original AM5 it was a great mount, so honestly, I think this is a tremendous value, and I'm really happy that the AM5N is at my disposal from night to night. If you decide on adding the optional counterweight shaft, it is a 20 millimeter counterweight shaft, so just make sure that you have a compatible counterweight. And the maximum weight for the counterweight is five kilograms or 11 pounds. Since we don't have an industry standard sound test for mounts, here I am bringing you my useless anecdotal sound test, just so you can see how it sounds for yourself, but there's no decibel values associated with that. So I apologize, but this is the best I can do. Pretty quiet. So really pleasant pitch, not very loud. Really impressed with the, uh, the AM5N. All right, everyone. Well, that wraps up my review of the ZWO AM5N harmonic mount. This is an awesome upgrade from the original AM5. Just incredible performance out of the mount, especially with auto guiding. And just having the ability to carry 33 pounds without a counterweight is amazing. 44 pounds with a counterweight, it's pretty incredible that it will even hold that, to be honest. And the best part about it is you're getting an improved upgraded mount from the original AM5 and ZWO kept the price point the same. So great job from them. So overall, just an awesome telescope mount. I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and clear skies.